So today I decided to make a day in the life vlog. For those who don't know me yet, my name is Rika. I am an artist living here in Winnipeg, Canada, or as I say, Winterpeg, because it's April and it's still snowing. So just to let you guys know, not all of my days look like this. Sometimes there's meetings, sometimes there's more family stuff, some days are more chill. But I think today is just a good overview of what I generally do. So at 8.30, someone came to pick up their ear saver order. And then right after that, I had to get dressed because I had to bring my siblings to school. Honestly, at this point, I don't even think I'm fully awake yet. <laughs> Something I never miss is actually eating breakfast. I grew up being taught that it was the most important meal of the day, so I take my time and I eat a lot. I also read ahead for tomorrow's book club meeting. Um, the book we're actually reading right now is Limitless by Jim Quick. Some days I would lift weights at home, but most days, nowadays especially, I practice my flexibility, I do some stretching in order to get the splits one day. I also am thinking of doing some martial arts in the future. Next, I do my Korean study time for about 30 minutes. If you guys didn't know, I am learning Korean. I am vlogging it in my other channel, Rika Fokumundo. If you want to see my Korean journey there, then please check it out. Now comes the actual art stuff. <laughs> um, the painting I'm doing right now is a commissioned portrait on a 30 by 40 inch canvas. Um, this is a family of five. This painting is actually like long overdue, so I have to like finish it as soon as possible. I would paint for about an hour. After lunch, my eyes actually felt a bit dry and tired for some reason, so I took a nap to see if it would help. Only for about 30 minutes. I'll be going out to drop off some mail and buy some food and art supplies. First stop was Superstore. I forgot to bring a coin, so I had to carry this heavy basket. Next stop was Artist Emporium, buying some paint. Here's me in the car debating whether I should get Starbucks or not. And yes, I got Starbucks. Something you guys will notice about me and maybe in other artists as well is I can never stay on just one painting for like the entire day. I need to switch it up, I need to do other things. This is also why I do multiple projects at once, so I'll have like a pile of paintings that are like half done, but I need that because I need that switch up in order to keep my focus. My siblings came back from school and decided to bother me and yeah, I tried to get her to taste my coffee and it's safe to say that she didn't like it. <laughs> oh, also I made a TikTok for this art business. By the time this video was up, I probably would have posted something there already, so please go and check it out. The link is in the description. After painting for a while, I decided to take a break and do some crochet. This is the jellyfish that I made 
and here are the bucket hats the sun sun hats summer hats that i have crocheted more will come soon honestly i didn't even get to crochet a lot because i was a bit tired and distracted so here i am i was researching some stuff for the business and just watching some videos and also i sat on some paint so i had to quickly wash it off or it's gonna leave a stain my mom called us for dinner, so I cleaned up real quick, and that's it for painting for the day. I'm glad I made some progress on these paintings today, because normally it's really hard and it's really draining. As much as possible, we like to eat dinner as a family. This often results in a really, really long and fun discussion that seems like it would never end. Because the kids didn't have school the next day, we decided to watch a movie, or a K-drama in this case. Normally I'd be painting more at this hour, but family time is more important. Oh, I forgot to say earlier, my hair is not straight. The reason it was straight today is because I straightened it yesterday, but yeah, I decided to use the mask today, just because I felt like it. Being an artist, um, sometimes it gets to a point where the thing that you really love starts to get really draining and tiring and you really don't feel like doing it anymore. Which is why I try to fill my days with a lot of different things to keep my creativity flowing, to keep me inspired, and to get me to try new things. As important as it is to keep a flow state going while you're painting, I think it's also important to take breaks and just to keep a balanced um, schedule in a day. If you want to become an artist, or if you are an artist, then I guess my message for today is to keep a schedule, a good schedule, a balanced schedule that keeps you excited and, you know, lets you look forward to the day ahead so that you're not overwhelmed and your art doesn't get compromised. My goal is to keep getting better every day, um, progress every day so that eventually I get to see in myself my fullest potential and then be able to inspire others to do the same. Hey guys, so that's basically it for my art vlog. If you guys liked the video, then please hit the subscribe button, the like button, um, because it would really mean a lot in growing this channel. Check out my other social media accounts, they're all in the description. There's Instagram, Facebook, and now TikTok. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.